Ever pondered the creation of a lava tube? Well, it's a fascinating process that marries the volatile dance of volcanoes with the calm serenity of caves. You see, the second most common type of cave across the globe is born from the fiery breath of volcanoes. These are the intriguing lava tubes. Picture this, a cylindrical cave, its walls, floor, and ceiling a hardened, cooled lava. No intricate limestone formations here, but rather a canvas of inky black igneous rock. Grooves etched into the walls bear witness to former lava flow levels, and lavasicles, stalactites born of cooling lava, often dangle above. It's a haven for bats, spiders, and various insects looking for a cozy abode. But how does a rock tube emerge from a flowing river of lava? As lava is a fluid, it behaves much like a river. The outer edges of the lava stream, exposed to the air, cool much faster than its core. Just as a pond freezes over in the chill, the edges of the lava stream start to harden, forming a shell that encases the flowing lava. Inside, the lava is insulated and superheated, causing it to erode the surface beneath and give the lava tube its distinctive circular shape. Once the volcanic eruption subsides, the lava drains slowly from the tube. It may take over a year for the cave to cool completely, but when it does, it becomes a magnet for wildlife. Not all lava tubes, however, roll out the welcome mat for human exploration. Many still harbor active lava flows, holding an incredible and incredibly dangerous heat. For instance, the lava inside active lava tubes in Hawaii clocks in at around 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit, or 1,250 degrees Celsius. Humans are only allowed inside lava tubes that are completely drained and cooled. The National Park Service oversees many of these lava tubes, ensuring a generally safe experience. But as with any natural area, visitors must tread with caution. Hazards may include rockfall and limited lighting, with the most common issue being tripping. Some tubes also offer a snug fit, so if you're claustrophobic, this might not be your cup of tea. Due to their volcanic origin, lava tubes are primarily found in regions with abundant geothermal activity. Hawaii is particularly rich in lava tubes, as the islands themselves were sculpted by volcanic forces. Consequently, they boast some of the most spectacular lava tubes around. In the United States, you'll also find lava tubes on the West Coast, at California's Lava Beds National Monument and Lassen Volcanic National Park, or at Idaho's Craters of the Moon National Monument and Preserve. In fact, you'll find them on almost every continent, with lava tubes in Iceland, South Korea, Kenya, and Australia. And should you manage to arrange some extraterrestrial travel, you can even explore lava tubes on the Moon and Mars. So, wherever you find volcanoes, there you will find lava tubes. And with a bit of luck, you might just get to peek inside these earthbound wonders. Just remember to bring a headlamp.